spring game comes, hardly play. And then on April 23rd, which was the morning after the spring game, I was out at lunch with my family and it was 11.56 and I got a text from Coach Hart saying, need to meet with you, be here at noon. So, you know, it's four minutes away, freaking out a little bit. I hug and kiss my family. Thank you guys for coming. So good to see you. Be safe. Have a good flight. Jump in the car, rush over to the facility. And I get there and it's time for my meeting. And he tells me, hey, I was wrong. Your meeting's at 2.15. Don't leave, just hang out. And so I'm walking around the facility and I'm seeing all of my teammates here. You know, I see a couple of the guys that Dion brought in, but mostly just guys that were there from when I was there. So I'm hanging out, talking with a couple other linebackers, just like, what do you guys think is going to happen? You know, why are we all here? You know, I thought this was just a individual, hey, coach needs to see you. And so 215 rolls around, get in the elevator, go up to the fourth floor, which is where all the coaches have their offices. And Coach Hart meets me. He says, hey, we're going to Prime's office. So we walk in to Dion's little space. And Cordell Stewart, he's a former quarterback for the Steelers and for Colorado, is sitting on the right, Dion's in the middle, and Coach Hart sits down on the left. And I sit right here across from them. And Coach Hart looks me in the eye and he says, hey, Owen, you're a heck of a player. You're a really smart kid, one of the smartest I've ever coached, but we have to let you go. And so Prime was just kind of sitting here looking off past me, you know? And he turns to Hart and goes, tell him why. And so Hart turns back to me and says, you know, you just haven't been playing linebacker enough and we need a, an older, more physical, stronger guy than you are. So you don't have a spot here at CU anymore. You're not a part of this team and you need to find a new home and we wish you luck. And so, you know, my heart sank and it was hard for me to hear, but you know, I held myself together and I stood up and I stuck my hand out and I shook Coach Hart's hand and I said, thank you coach, you've taught me a lot. I really appreciate it. He said, you're welcome. And I shook Cordell Stewart's hand and I said, thank you, sir. And I went to shake Dion's hand and said, thank you coach. And he said, yeah, buddy, you got it. And pointed at the door. And so I walked out of the door. He wouldn't even look me in the eye. And Did you shake your hand? I think so. I think he shook my hand and pointed at the door, but he wouldn't look at me. Just said, there's the door, get out. And so I'm walking out there and I open the door and stretching down the hallway, there's just this line of players, you know, my brothers, these guys that I've bled for and cried for. And, you know, they all kind of look like puppies with their tail between their legs, you know, everyone's terrified. And I don't know that they're about to have the same conversation I just had. I'm hoping for their sake, because I love them, that they're gonna go in there and be told that, hey, we want you, you're on this team. But I have a feeling that's not gonna happen. So I go down to the locker room, time to clean out my locker. You know, they didn't give me a bag or anything to clean my locker out with. So I had to go to the area where the janitors throw the trash away. And I took a trash bag from the dumpster that happened to be empty. And I came back to my locker and you know, I took my nameplate off and put that in there because I wanted to keep that. Took all my workout clothes and shoes and put them in my trash bag. And I probably sat in the locker room for 10 minutes just soaking in that this was my last time being a Colorado football player. And as I sat there in those 10 minutes, I mean, probably 15 other guys stepped out of the elevator into the locker room and they just had tears streaming down their face. And so, you know, that suspicion I had earlier had just been confirmed that these guys just had the same conversation I had, you know, told that that contract they signed saying, hey, you play here, you're our guy has, it's null and void, you know, you're not a Colorado player anymore, you need to leave. And so, how long was this meeting? How long were you inside Dion's office? 45 seconds. That's, 